So we've seen a little bit theory on refrigerants on the diagrams. I want you to get along with some exercises as we did with the vapor tables. Now it's time to use diagrams. So I got you exercise number one. I choose this randomly. It's not because I wanted to get this refrigerant. I just want you to learn how to use it. So one pretty common question will be get the enthalpy at this pressure, 200 kilopascals, and minus 70 Celsius. How do we do that? Well, first thing first, find out the 200 kilopascals, which if you change to megapascals, you will get 0.2. Now it's time to get that isotherm of uh, 70 Celsius, which is right here. You can see 60 Celsius, 70 Celsius, or you, you may even check it here, or you may check it here, or you may check it, where is it? Uh, here. Wherever line you want to, actually, I, re I will recommend you this line because you're going to intersect it with this line here. But whatever line you choose, just follow the line. You know, this will be no change of temperature and then you start changing once again. And then you get the point. This point right here is the point we're talking about. How do we read the enthalpy? Enthalpy is in the x-axis. So let me go directly down here and I will get something between 450 and 500. Actually, I get this value here. 478 kilojoules per kilogram will be the answer to this problem. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.